Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast, giving you all the State of the Saints podcast halftime report. Uh, as of right now, the Saints going to the locker room ahead of the Carolina Panthers by a score of 21 to 17. Uh, this game right here has been pretty exciting, man. I, I must admit, you know, the offenses of both teams are moving the ball down the field really with no problem whatsoever. Uh, you got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is looking pretty doggone good. Uh, I think he got about 170 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, he, he's looking really good, man, commanding the offense of the Carolina Panthers. Uh, you know, they, they look pretty good, man. Defensively, they, they've done some things as well. Uh, as far as New Orleans Saints, their offense is looking really good too, man, especially running the football. Uh, you see Alvin Kamara got 64 yards. Latavius Murray, he's up there. I think he got 50 plus. Uh, both of them have real long runs. And uh, you got to give us uh, the shout out to all these young wide receivers stepping up right now. In the absence of Emmanuel Sanders, in the absence of Michael Thomas, you're seeing guys like Marquez Calloway, Deontay Harris. Uh, you're seeing guys uh, stepping up. Austin Carr even caught a pass early. Uh, so these guys are really doing a really good job, man. Calloway, uh, who is really impressing me right now, man, he's really playing smart. Uh, some of the catches that he's making, uh, going into some of the soft spots in the zone uh, that Carolina has played. I mean, that's something that you see uh, seasoned veterans do. So I'm going to get this guy some credit when it comes to that. Uh, but as far as uh, the defense is concerned, <sighs> look who that nation, you know, I, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but this is our defense for the 2020 season. It, it's it, man. This is it. Now, I, I, I don't think there's going to be some kind of miraculous change. I don't think that, you know, uh, there's going to be some healing that is going to happen in this, in this deep, on this defense. This is our defense, man. I mean, these guys are getting little to no pressure on Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, the secondary every single week, it seems like it's going to be a busted coverage. I mean, DJ Moore, I'm talking about wide open, man, nothing but space and opportunity. I'm tired of this defense. Um, I'm tired of this secondary. I'm tired of every single year the Saints not having a defense we can count on. I'm sick of guys looking at one another, wondering to themselves who had to play. These guys have been together too long. These guys are veterans now. And for some apparent reason, they just can't get into their heads about where they need to be and how to cover. And not to mention, man, some of the tackling I've seen out here on the defensive side of the ball. Absolutely pathetic, man. I mean, this is week seven, okay? I understand there was no preseason and all that kind of stuff, but it's week freaking seven. And you still out here having these same issues. Ladies and gentlemen, who that nation? This is our defense for the 2020 season. So we might as well just get this out of our mind like these guys going to turn a corner. They're going to clean it up like they've been saying. It is what it is, man. This defense sucks, absolutely sucks man these guys are getting absolutely worked out there and it's not like they going up against some of the top tier receivers in the league i mean carolina no disrespect to them but none of these guys out here they're gonna be the next julio jones or antonio brown or michael thomas or nothing like that but these guys just seem to every week disappoint us and just do stupid asinine things in that secondary and on the defensive side of the football Look, what do I expect in the second half? Look, I expect Drew Brees to be efficient. Um, it seems like that's going to be the way that we're going to win this game. We got to stay ahead of the Carolina Panthers. We got to control the time of possession. We got to run the football. And uh, hopefully the defense can make a stop or two. That way that we can actually keep this lead. Um, I don't expect the defense to come out here and just absolutely just channel their uh, 85 Bears or their 2,000 Ravens or nothing like that. But... If they can make a few stops, man, and not embarrass themselves and trip over banana peels every now and then like they normally do every single week, then I think that we'll be able to get this victory, man. But I would love to hear from you. What do you think about the Saints in the first half? Uh, what do you think about the defense, man? What do the Saints need to do to get the victory? Go ahead and comment down below, like, and share this video. This is TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, youtube.com search the state of the saints podcast facebook.com search the state of the saints podcast thank you all so much enjoy the second half and like always all i gotta say is who that